Welcome back, everybody. I'm no joined now by Anita Webb, and we are talking about the Living Nativity happening this weekend. That's right. Talk to me about what it is. Um, with the Concho Christmas Lighting Project, we're at the very end in the Paseo, and um, we'll be there live from 6.30 to 10.30, Friday and Saturday nights. And Sunday, for this weekend and for, next weekend. Yes, for this weekend and next weekend, 14th and 15th and the 21st and 22nd, we'll be there from 6.30 to 10.30. And then the two Sunday nights will be 6.30 to 8.30. Okay. That's the 16th and the 23rd, right before That's Christmas. That's a, a lot of performances for you. Well... It, we have people in shifts every 30 minutes, okay. and they just, we have three kings. We're kind of limited. You have to have three <laughs> kings. And, of course, we know the kings didn't come at the same time. But over the years, people have put those two stories together. So we have shepherds. You can't have too many shepherds. And we have lots of angels. Every little girl in St. Angela wants to be a, an oh, angel. Oh, that's so cute. And we have one up on we call it Angel on High because it's above the stable. And oh my gosh, how do they get up there? Oh, we have a little ladder, oh. <laughs> a little platform to oh my stand goodness. on. How and young are these girls? Oh, are they like little kids? Yes, most of them. Sometimes we have adults. It's according to who shows up. But uh, this Friday night is our church youth, First Christian First Church. Cr yes. And uh, Saturday night is um, oh, uh, St. Joseph Catholic Church. And Sunday night is a variety of people. A little mix and match. <laughs> yes. It's from our church and other, you know, people that have helped us over the years. And how long does it take to get everyone on the same page knowing their parts or what well, they don't do anything except stand they don't speak oh, or see it's okay. just it's just to bring to life kind of the look so do you have a real baby we have had in the years past a couple times but mo we have a doll a oh, that's doll. probably for the best since it's uh, a, yeah, little, a little cold <laughs> especially if it'd been like last weekend yes. but uh, one year uh one of our church members brought her grandchild they were supposed to be babysitting with it, and I thought, if your mother, or if the child's mother could <laughs> sleep, oh my gosh, but... You're like, I am not no, to blame for this. No, I had nothing to do with it. But, that really brings it to life, though. <laughs> yes, it does. And and the baby was wonderful. Oh, wow. I, I, I it's mean, made it, for showbiz. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know what ever happened to that child, but um, the grandparents moved to Dallas oh. area, so I don't know. But I, I didn't die with pneumonia, that's for well, sure. <laughs> thank, thank goodness. Thank yes. goodness. And um, every 30 minutes, we go out and come back, and we dress them 30 minutes before the first group. And then we just keep rotating them all night. And usually, group A, the first group that goes out, when we bus them over to the site from, from our a place where we're dressing and then B goes out and A comes back and we try to feed them pretty good oh, okay and then they switch and then D and E later in the evening oh wow so um, it is a project that um, is and are you ready for it is I everyone so. excited I, oh yes I th and I think we're ready but we've been doing it so long that um, if we don't know what we're doing now, we never will. <laughs> but to get all the costumes ready and to get all the props and the food, and I have wonderful people helping me. So it, when, as I said, we do have our youth, um, the youth at St. Uh, Joseph's Catholic Church. We have um, Bethel Assembly of God, uh, and not just youth, but some youth and their parents, and Sierra Vista Methodist. And so we're pretty ecumenical. Yes, <laughs> a little bit of everyone. A little bit of everyone. And everyone. they can see you all this weekend yes. and next weekend. And then next to it, we'll have a little white tent. And because our church, First Christian, is the church of the table, we invite every, we have, 
communion every Sunday, and we invite all followers of Christ to take it. And so we're going to have a table with um, communion offered to anybody who wants to park and get out and come in. And they can take some pictures of the Living in Tiffany. Yes. And everyone, for more information, you can call the number that you saw on your screen right there. That is taking place this weekend and next with the Tour of Lights. I'll be right back.